pray for vocations, a hope of Israel, savior in time of trouble, down in time of some heaven, stay through the fruit of your vineyard, and for blood that is necessary for it, so these things increase its fruit, and bring so much fruit to the vineyard, which your right hand has planted. Indeed, the harvest is great, but the labors are few. We ask you, therefore, Lord of the harvest, send labor into your harvest. Multiply your people and increase their joy, so that the words of Jerusalem may be the harvest. Which you house, Lord God, with your power, and let them not be in their day to you. Into one stone which you most holy stands has no place there. Praise are in your name, and those who you have called, and may them truly call you. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Vincent, pray for us. I would like to offer this Mass for the Salvation of St. Mary, <clears throat> but also uh, for the eternal grace of Roxana. Uh, is the sister of Wilbert Garro, uh, a family who is very involved in the church with the Vincentians in Southampton. The lady passed away uh, yesterday, I believe yesterday or two days ago due to coronavirus. So we pray for Roxana, for her eternal rest, and for the consolation of his, her family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Be true to your name, O oh Lord, Lord, and preserve my life. Alleluia. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is now more beaten. I remember the days that I passed. I ponder all your works and muse on what your hands to has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands like a parched land, my shoulders for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the ways I should walk. Walk to you, I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save myself from this church. Glory to the Father, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwell in darkness. Your death has opened a path, a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants, let your Holy Spirit guide us together into the land of justice. I will see you again. And your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her. All you who love her, rejoice, rejoice with her. All you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the meal of her comfort that you may nurse with delight our her abundant breast. For thus say the Lord, Lord, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nordlings you shall be carried in her arms and pondered in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, you heard, your hearts shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like a grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord reveals Jerusalem and heals the broken hearted. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the broken hearted. He binds up all the wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked for the dust. All sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing songs to our God and the heart with the heart. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plans to set men's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in hot horses, nor his pleasures in warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as he was in the beginning, is now, and will be. Amen. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. Gather together those who have been scattered and enrich us all, enrich us all from the plenitude of your eternal wisdom. From the plenitude of your eternal wisdom. Let us pray. O God, who restored human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and waits with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail to an upright at Pagan in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Pega and reached rich Antioch in Syria. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law of the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you have a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, mentioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of these people, Israel, chose us, chose our ancestors, and adjusted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about forty years, them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided churches up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Kish, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man descendants God, according to his promise, he brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. 
John Herodot is coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the nations of Israel. And as John were completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing for forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. That my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may not be strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his home be adjusted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had watched the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, No slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those who I have chosen, but so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. The one who ate my food had raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever receives the one I send, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As a church, as a member of the body of Christ, we feel so proud about Because we um, understand that the church is founded uh, in the apostolic tradition and we recognize that this is a history of salvation and we from now to Peter, going back to Peter, we can name those who are the heads of the church uh, in this earth and that is important for us because we know where we are coming from and where uh, our church has foundation and basically when Jesus established the, the community this community and give to Peter that kind of a calling or role into the church or in the church and today we also see in the first reading how uh, Saul or Paul uh, retells the history of salvation made by God and he named some important people 
uh, that took part in this history of salvation. He uh, go from Saul to David, from David to John, and from John to Jesus. And in the Gospel, we see that Jesus not only unfastens the sandals of the disciples, also wash their feet. That is a, a way that he called us to serve. He invites us to continue preaching the good news. He invites us to be a witness of his resurrection, but not necessarily with words, but with good acts and deeds through our lives. And we constantly hear Pope Francis that he basically invites us to put in practice our beliefs our faith in Jesus and also that we can provide for them, uh, for those that are suffering. Uh, we can give our life, we can uh, give our hand, we can show their support because that's the way that we um, serve the people and that is the way that we live the gospel. So uh, we continue, we, we are part of this history of salvation. The history of salvation doesn't stop when Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus continued developing his plan of salvation now for us. So let us open our hearts to believe that we are called to experience God's salvation that, and also we are called to witness for our lives that Jesus is rose from the dead and he invites us to experience and to show the love that he has uh, and we can share this love with others. Let us pray. God the Father has given us His Son for the resurrection of his people. Let us turn with confidence to the Father and say, As a pillar of fire, you lighted the way you are for your people in the desert. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. Through the voice of Moses, you tossed your people from the mountain. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. You fed your pilgrim people with your gift of manna. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. You gave your people water from the rock. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. We continue to pray for those members of our community who passed away, particularly, especially for the eternal race of Paul, Loeffler. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all the people who are showing, shown, you know, showing us at this time their kindness and gener their generosity and help us to uh, support uh, or cover our expenses uh, at the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people who ask us to intercede for them, especially those who are sick those who are suffering uh, for different reasons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families. May God comfort them and provide for them the safety that they need, especially at this time of crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. to listen this prayer that we present to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But above, but on this time above all, we should love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he had destroyed our death, and by, by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together of the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created, that he gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things, and make them holy, and you, ne and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously made holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, at whose command we celebrate the mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your dead, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wonders of resurrection, and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your separate spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious mothers, Saint Vincent, Saint Louis, and with all the saints, on those constant, constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, the orders of Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people who have came for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourselves all of your children the crafter throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who was pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind attendance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on us, on the world, all oh, that is good. To him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. we pray together to Jesus our Savior and Redeemer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us now into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and secular distress, as we await the blessed God and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look now on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us for each other the sign of peace. Yes, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Al Marisianas, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, even he who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my son shall be healed. No disciple is greater than his teacher. He should be glad to become like his master. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and, and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, or of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised you the whole, that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hide us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the answer to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will stand before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give us your knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, and not from the heart shall they upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruit of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Mary God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray the prayer that Pope Francis asks us to do, asking for the intercession of our Blessed Mother. O Mary, you, you always write the Trust ourselves to you, head of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' strength. While the men is steadfast in faith, O loving Mother, you know what we need, and we are confident that you will provide for us as our canine Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son, Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with the protection in safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and in seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of the Divine Lord, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our suffering and carried our souls, so as to lead us to the cross, to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you merited to be, alleluia. Have reason as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. Because the law is truly risen, alleluia. O God, who by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant the joy to the whole world. Grant, we beg you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may lay hold of the joys of eternal life through the same grace of our Lord. Amen. Have a great day. Thank you. Bless you.